Tony Doherty here for NPC News Online with the one and only Dexter Jackson here to do it all again for the 18th time, Dexter. 18th, baby, 18th. You feeling it? Oh, of course. Of course. Always when I come to this show. It's the biggest show in the world. You don't come to the show to make up numbers. You don't come to the show to show them what an old man can do. You come to win the show, right? Damn right. You come to win. You're not playing no games. I don't, I don't do this just for the fun of it and, and hanging in there just to make money. I'm, every time I get in the show, I'm trying to win. That's how I was raised. That's how I was always brought up. That's how my kids are brought up. You know, everything we do, we, we, we try to win. I don't care if I'm playing a little kid that's five years old. I'm trying to beat him in that game. <laughs> so, how's the, so how's the game plan gone this year? You yeah. happy with what you've done? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. Um, we did some off-season uh, work. Um, I took the whole year off for a reason. And um, I'm very happy with what we're bringing to the stage this year. We've talked about it before, Dexter, but as your career's gone on so long and so much longer than anybody ever could have estimated, you've had to change your whole preparation a little bit each, in some cases each year, but each decade. You never used to do cardio before, then you had to introduce cardio. You had to change things up a little bit. Have you learned more about your body in your 40s than you did ever before? Um, yes. I've learned that as I get older, I definitely have to eat more. When I was younger, I could eat, you know, drink three shakes and eat three meals and stay full as a house. But as I've gotten older, I've learned to back off the shakes, eat more clean food on the off season. That's how I'll continue to get better because I eat clean on the off season and not junk out, you know, on the off season. So continue putting on lean muscle, not a lot. I don't put on 10 pounds every year, but I put on a pound or two, which is a noticeable difference. You know what I'm saying? And also my training. I have to change, it, change the training up. It's not the same that I used to do. I don't do all that heavy compound stuff no more. Mainly machine work. And, um, you know, so a lot of people like to get in their mind that you can't grow because you do, you know, that you train on machines. Well, prime example, I'm, I was 275 this year, bigger than I've ever been in my life with machine work. So don't believe that nonsense. You know, don't be scared to get on those machines, man. Plus it protects your joints, you know. This, some of the guys that's back in the day that's known for lifting a lot of heavy weight and tearing a lot of stuff, had they known what, you know, doing what I've done, you know, like during all these guys, learn how to back off their weight. They see the, and Ronnie, they didn't know how, they, they, it's, it was always just hardcore for them. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And that's why they ended their career so early. Yeah, well, the other guy that extended his career up until when he was 50 was Vince Taylor. Right. And he trained like you do. He was all, all about yeah, machines. Yeah. He wasn't doing any heavy movements. He was always about Vince putting that mind in the muscle long before anyone else. That's right. Vince did that all his career. He wasn't even training. He wasn't even training heavy when he started. You know, he's, I think he turned pro in his 30s, didn't he? Yeah, it's like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we want to wish you all the best. You've got fans all over the world. What's the message you got for them? Um, I just want to thank all you guys for being behind me. So many years, you guys are my heart and soul. I'll probably be retired if it weren't for you. Thank you so much for following me and, um, and always sending so many messages to me, man, encouraging me and all that stuff, man. That really helps a lot. Thank you guys so much, and I love you guys so much. All right? Peace. 24 hours' time, we see the best Dexter Jackson maybe ever. We're out.